Hey guys. So I'm in my kitchen and I wanted to start sharing with you guys some of the stuff that I do like supplement wise and different um, important nutrients that I include in my diet, literally my daily diet. Um, one of those things is sea moss, which Dr. CB, you know, it's all backwards because I have my reverse camera on, but Dr. CB talks about this all the time. It's like one of the most densely, highly nutritious things that you can eat. And when I first heard about it, I bought it and I really didn't know how to use it. So I had like um, blend it into a soup and I didn't really like it that way. And so my puppy's coming in. And so um, I figured out how to implement it into my diet and routine every single day without having to, um, without having to put it in like soup or something that tastes weird. So what I do is I boil it down and I put it in my pot here. But if you're wondering what it looks like when you just buy it and then you put it in like a fine mesh strainer, um, I have one right here. I tend to use the big one because I'll do like half a bag at a time. So I'll use this type of strainer and I'll put it in there and I'll rinse it. This is reverse osmosis. I put this in, um, well, my boyfriend installed it. But that's underneath the sink and stuff. It really only costs like 200 and some dollars to buy one of those and install it. We rent here, so you can even take it out or um, leave it in. I'm going to leave it in for the next renters whenever we end up moving and buying property. But anyways, you want to rinse it in that clean water. Go ahead, Grace. Mommy's going to make a quick video, and then I will be done. Go. My babies. I got four babies. And sometimes it's hard to make videos and <laughs> share information when they're running around crazy. But anyways, um... Yeah, it looks like this. So you would just put a little bit in the strainer, put it underneath, rinse it all out, because there's salt on it, because it's grown in the ocean, obviously, it's sea moss. And you want to get all that off, because you don't want any of that salt and stuff when you boil it in here. And once you boil it down, you let the pot sit, just like bring it off the heat, let it cool down, and then put it in your Ninja blender or whatever kind of blender you have. And you soak it in water first in the fridge. I forgot to mention that. That's a very important part that I left out. <laughs> soak it in water in the fridge first overnight. So I put it in like a, a stainless steel bowl in filtered water, soak it overnight in the fridge. Then I boil it the next day. Or if you, have, if you don't feel like doing it the next day, you can leave it soak in the fridge for a couple days, whatever. I do that sometimes. I don't have time to like deal with it, so I'll... It'll be a couple days before I get to it. And then just put it on the stove and boil it for like 20 minutes and then turn the heat off, let it cool down. If you have to add a little more water, make sure it's all submerged down in the water. And then once it cools down, pour the sea moss in and the water it's soaked in into the blender, blend it all up, blend it all up, and then just, it'll be like a thick, gooey, whatever. You don't wanna put it in your blender until it's like cooled down a little bit though, so don't forget that step either. And then once it, um, <laughs> my freaking cookies, <laughs> okay, it's all about balance. And then I put it in jars and I put the jars in the fridge. And then when I go to make my tea, I boil my water. I'll put a few scoops out of my jars of sea moss into my tea before I, um, before I put like a tea bag or lemon juice or whatever I'm going to put in it. I put the hot water in there and I mix it in till the sea moss melts in so it just looks like water. And it's like a part of your tea. Way easier to consume sea moss that way. And you can do it every day. All you do is have some tea. And there it is. It's in your diet. Super nutritious. Wanted to share that with you guys. Gosh, I thought I could do it <laughs> less amount of time than that. But um, yeah, I totally get mine off Amazon. I think it's like 20 bucks for this bag and it's two, I get two boils out of it and that's about six to seven jars of sea moss and that will last you a while. That'll last you a good month, maybe more, depending how much, how much tea you want to drink and how much you want to add into your diet. But I thought that I would um, little by little keep, start sharing different things that I do to incorporate um, nutrients into my body that replaces all this toxic crap that we've been consuming for so long. Um, so yeah, CMOS was my video for nutrition today and I hope that helped you guys.